Welcome to Dr. Piercy's writing the guess.jsp file for our MVC guessing game example. In this video, we'll review the guessing game example, MVC version, and how the guess.jsp fits in. You'll learn how to include a Java server page within an MVC application using the Eclipse IDE. In the spirit of thinking before coding, let's review the guessing game. Craig the Game Master will think of a secret number and initialize the game. He'll ask Nick, the player of games, to guess a number between 0 and 1000. Nick will make a series of guesses. Each time, Craig will respond with whether the guess is correct or incorrect. If the guess is incorrect, Craig will let Nick know whether to guess higher or lower. Eventually, Nick will guess the correct answer, in which case Craig will respond with how many guesses it took Nick to guess the answer. Here we see a diagram showing the flow of control and the various components that will make this game work. An initial request will come in to start the game. We'll hit the index.jsp component. Index.jsp component will be responsible for initializing the game and setting a random target. It will also be responsible for passing the first view back to the client in order to get the first guess from the player. When the player on the client side has made their first guess and submits their form, this will hit the game servlet. The game servlet is the primary engine running this game. It will be responsible for comparing each guess with the target and then determining what the proper response should be. If the guess is incorrect, game servlet will pass control over to guess.jsp which will display the appropriate message and a form to allow for the next guess. If game servlet determines that the guess is correct, it will pass control over to correct.jsp which will be responsible for providing the final view showing the number of guesses that it took to get the correct answer. Along the way we'll use the game number component to represent all the values in this game. In this video, we're focusing on the guess.jsp component. Here's the flow of our application, coupled with some simple wireframes. The guess.jsp component will be responsible for the views we see when the guess is incorrect. In this diagram, this is the wireframe in the middle. Notice it has a welcome message, some instructions which would include whether or not to guess higher or lower, and a form that allows for the next guess. So as we focus on the guess.jsp component, it is helpful to look at an input process output table. Here we see that the guess.jsp output will include a view that the user will see on the client side. This includes a welcome message, instructions, higher or lower, and an input form. So output will be the target value because in this case we are passing data through the client onto the server again. Minimum and maximum values the number of guesses so far, and all of the view components. The eventual destination when the user clicks a button on the client side will be the game servlet. So some of these values such as target, min, max, and number of guesses are kind of passing through the client onto the game servlet in our application. We'll include those as hidden text boxes in the form. Inputs to guess.jsp will be some of these same numbers, the target, the minimum, the maximum, the number of guesses, and the message whether or not to guess higher or lower. These inputs will be processed, we'll get the inputs, and we'll create the view. So a very simple guess.jsp component, not much to do here. It gets these inputs from the game servlet as well. Here we are back in Eclipse ready to create our guess.jsp file. You notice we already have our game servlet.java stored in the source folder under the controllers package. We have our game number.java class stored in the model package in the source folder. And we already have our index.jsp. If you recall from the diagram with the wireframes, the guess.jsp look is very similar to index.jsp. So we can save a little bit of time if we create this based on index.jsp. So I will right click on index.jsp. I will select copy. I'll then right click on web content folder and I'll select paste. Now I'll simply change the file name from copy of index.jsp to guess.jsp. 
and we see that this file is now located under our web content. So after opening guest.jsp and expanding it for editing, I can see that we already have a good bit of our file created. We need to make some changes to the Java section, so I'm going to simply delete those areas. Much of the output is going to stay the same. I'll leave that for tweaking later after we get the Java section taken care of. The first thing that I need to do is get the input for this component. Recall that we are coming here from the game servlet, so we have two sources of input. Both are on the request object. Some of our inputs to this component are parameters of the request object, and two others are attributes. So let's get the inputs from request parameters, and we'll follow that up by getting the inputs from the request attributes. The parameters that we need to get are the target and the minimum and the maximum values. For the target, we will get that as a game number. Notice, because it was already used in our index.jsp, that the game number has been imported. So I'll declare a game number. I will call that target. I will use request.getParameter and ask for the target. Equal sign here. Getting a type mismatch because we currently have a string. We need to first make that an integer and then create a new game number. So I'm going to use integer dot parse int and wrap our request dot get parameter. So now we have an integer. And then we need to call the constructor for our game number. So reading this from the inside out, we request the target as a parameter, we convert the string into an int, and then we use that as our parameter for our game number constructor. Let's make things a little bit simpler for the minimum and the maximum. Let's simply make those integers. So int minimum equals integer dot parse int request dot get parameter and simpler still we can copy that line and simply edit minimum to say maximum Now we have our two inputs, minimum and maximum. Next, we need to get the inputs from the request attributes. Recall that one of these is the number of guesses held in the guesses variable, because this number was incremented as we made our next guess. Let's deal with this as a game number. So we'll use game number. call it guesses equals now this was stored as an object on the request as an attribute so would you request dot get attribute and we called it guesses again we have a type mismatch cannot convert object to game number so recall that we need to cast this as a game number. Now we have our guesses input. Finally, we need to get our message, whether or not to guess higher or lower. This will be a string. I'll call it message. Once again, it's another attribute. And as before with guesses, I need to cast this into the appropriate object type. That's about it for the input. Not much else to do in this one but to output the form 
to the client. In this case, it's not welcome anymore, or please guess a number. So this is not the first page, so let's get rid of the welcome message. Let's change the please guess a number between minimum and maximum to our message, which should tell the player to guess higher or lower. Now with our form, I think the only thing we need to adjust is how many guesses we're using here. We need to get that from our guesses, which recall is a game number, so I need to call the get value method. They will ask for their next guess, they will submit, this will go to the servlet, and we'll send along these values. And that's about it. We now have our guess.jsp added to our web application. For more information about the concepts that you learned in this video, please visit the references shown here. This video was written, narrated, and produced by Dr. Craig A. Piercy. Background music is locally sourced by Jason Farnham from the YouTube Audio Collection. This has been a Piercy production.